Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Today at Molt Mode, we have a couple... Well, we have one big job to knock out. And that is a new building pad. We're prepping the land for a building. There's a couple trees along the way. It's a residential house. And we gotta clear out the trees. We gotta kind of grade off the whole area. And then they're gonna put a really nice, like, 24 by 36, like, garage slash shop. It is gonna be the ultimate man cave. And so we gotta help build that. I gotta get to one of those bobcats loaded up on the trailer. Buck bought a grader, or I, I bought a grader, I guess, for the company. Buck's driving it down there, and we're gonna be we're gonna get building this shed. We'll fire up the old comment. I love this truck. I think we ought to keep this truck around forever. I'll get the tilt going. There we go, and then I gotta take one of the bobcats. We'll take the grapple to move the logs, and then we also got a uh, track the. 7R down there with a the mulcher and it mulches them right up so it's gonna work good but if you guys are new here this is mullet mowing landscaping mowing heck we do a lot of different jobs tornado just hit last week we cleared that uh ladies uh septic system completely busted so I mean me and Buck we're taking that mini mini excavator and uh we're digging out some nasty stuff Good steers loaded up. We'll toss a strap for longer. There we go. We're ready to roll. I'll give Buck a ring here, quick. Hello. Hey, Buck. What? Hey, uh, load up on the way. Gonna hit I-80, and I'll be over there probably 20 minutes. Okay, I'm right outside the place somewhat. I just gotta figure out the plan of attack on how to get in there because I got those gates. It's tough. It's tight with a road grader. Yeah. I might just huh. have to take it through the yard. Well, if you take yeah. it through the yard, ask for people's permission, I'd say. Well, I think that entire plot of land is there, so I am I can get to it from the road. I just got to be able to get around those gates. Okay. I can bend the blade, like, turn it, but I'm not sure if I can actually get in there. Okay. Well, I'm just jumping on the interstate, so I'll be there soon. All right. Somebody, what is that, a Dodge? I can't tell what that truck is. It's a Ford. Ford on the side of the road. Hang on, is it an orange one? Yep. That still might be those storm chasers out. Oh, those guys. They must have broke down in that tornado. I don't know. Huh. Pull in here. See if we can find Buck. He's in a road grader. We just bought one for the company. Figured since we had a couple jobs coming up with it that it, it might be a profitable piece of equipment for the company. Buck, what are you thinking? Hang on a minute. Um, just check something here. You have the dimensions, everything figured out, marked off? Yeah, I'm just making sure, because there's a couple spots that we can't get too close, because they got power lines and mm -hmm. basically all those lines are underneath the ground running to the house from this uh, quadrant over here. Yeah. Uh, we do have stakes marked. I'm pretty sure, let me just get two seconds to check our lines. Yes. We need, to, we need to at least remove this tree. We gotta get this guy out of here. Uh, we'll have to clear the shrubs for about a, I think a 30 square foot radius. Okay. Since it, uh, and then the shed should basically go right here in the open air, open itself. They haven't completely set, because I haven't gotten the dimensions for that, because they got concrete guys doing everything else, but it's supposed to be, I believe, facing roughly the same direction as the house or maybe a little bit more towards the road, like this side of the tree line. Either way, we at least have to get that big behemoth out of here and then the shrubs around it so yep. the concrete guys can get in here. We have to level out the ground so they can obviously lay the pad. Okay, I'll grab the chainsaw out of the truck. We'll start cutting down these trees here. That'll work good. I'm gonna drop her. Okay. We should get your hard uh, hat on. I got my hat on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I got my bucket hat. I'm going fishing. You ready? Fishing for a tree. Should be. Try it. If, obviously, of course, get it to lean back this way. Okay. Don't hit it towards the house. I'm going to get our skid steer. I'm just... Timber! What? It, it didn't even give me time to yell timber. Gosh. Anyways, she's got... Buck, do you, hey. think, you think you could just move it out of here? Grab the whole tree? Uh, I wouldn't know. There's no way. Okay. I'd start trimming I'll, I'll off cut, some branches. I'll cut off the branches here. But, well, also, we got to mark out our stakes. So, if anything, try and... Let's see if we can cut this out. At least get some yard stakes to know where we're going to be cutting out. Yeah, we'll cut this apart. Knock her out quick. Okay. 
I'm gonna go and set these in our corners where we're supposed to cut. Okay. Or at least level. Or he wanted it for firewood, maybe, too. He says they were good. I'm gonna grab the truck. Okay. So we can use the big text. He's got a place for the wood to go? Yeah, I think he said just for right now we can use at least the trailer to hold all of it. Okay. I'll bring it down there to you if you well, want to heck, just, it's well, worth set that one in here. I mean, this is some good hardwood. You can oh, cut yeah. it for firewood. That's probably said, why we can probably it. set it. Yeah. Say, oh. just put it in the trailer. I'll bring it down to you. Okay. Right there? Yep. You just have it latched so it doesn't work. There you go. So I'll just at least do this so I don't move around, even though I know it won't. Oh, nice. That's working good. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can't get it a little bit closer here. Fuck, I wonder if you could mulch up these some of these limbs here that are just so small. They're not even good Probably. for firewood. Probably. I say throw them in the... Just start throwing them in here. Yeah, I'll toss her in there. Okay, I'll keep tossing her in. Watch out, I'm going to also hit... Do you want to get that stump? Yeah. Here. Oh, there you go. This thing works way better than a skid steer and chainsaw. You can just mulch oh, over yeah. these. Hang on. Hang on, you're going to poke me. There you go. Look at that. Um, Try and take out this these bushes right here. Let me scooch this forward. I'm just gonna go into. I'm just gonna go into. Hang on, stop, 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 stop. I'm just gonna go into landscape, and as you back over them, I'm going to delete them with the thing. Okay. Nice. You're gone. Yep. There we go. Up. Oh, this one. Ah. Uh, one. Let me rearrange. There we go. Got it. All right. Uh, probably gonna want to take out these bigger ones over here as well. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Okay, that tree need to go too. Gosh, Buck, this um, is probably the best investment at mowing we've had. The mulcher. Yes. Most, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. We're going to put some of this in the firewood. Okay. I'll give you the branches. I'm going to cut out yep. a lot of this and just leave the trunk. Okay. I'll help you. Start, I say start, yeah, cut off the branches. We'll throw those in the mulcher, but the rest of the trunk will cut up with the firewood. So, yeah, you can just start throwing in the mulcher if you wanted to. Okay. Everything is cleared out of here. Now me and Buck just got to do some grading, knock this out. And then the pad should be ready to build on. I'm no professional with one of these. Do you wanna? You you got it, Buck. You're, you're oh. wearing the, the outfit. You got it. Oh boy. Let's see what oh you boy. got. Just I, I won't film it. Right. That makes me feel better. Got to go from this spot straight across to the little standout, and then we'll have to go about 10 feet, 10, 20 feet back, and it should be good from there. This might not be the right, uh, right, right, right machine for the job, but she'll do. Yep, there you go. We're down. Oh. Then maybe one or two, one and a half passes maybe left, I, and we probably yeah. have the right amount. Yeah, I'd say one good pass, and you should be good. Depending right now, I think we just gotta scoop out the gravel. Gra scoop out the gravel if you yeah. want to do that. Yeah, that'll work. You wanna good. give her a whack? Yeah, I'll do it. For now, we'll just make That's a big pile here. We'll make a big pile on the edge of the road, and we can come back and scoop, scoop it later. Okay. Well, also, actually, when they well, we can use no. it for backfill too. Yeah, that. Or we could do them. Um, ooh. Right there. Or they could use it somewhat for the driveway, because I heard they're gonna be getting gravel driveway. Yeah, yeah, they'll want this gravel. Okay, so that's level. We got a pile of gravel here that will, I think we're just going to use for the driveway. Now the building company is going to come in. They're going to dig holes for the posts, and then they get this up super quick. Like, it could be tomorrow that this builds up. It's just, it's crazy how fast these guys work. Well, they got the place built. This is nice. Yeah. We had I say the, um, go ahead. I was going to say they didn't have the water and electric, so we had to trench the water and electric to the building, which we got that done. We got the line buried, and... There's a wood stove. Yeah, you've got, let's see if we can get a stove in here. I, I really like the light fixture in here. Lighting looks good. It's like a really nice color. We got automatic Power doors, too. Let's say got a, well, maybe we can get them. There they are. Fixing up some drywall steel, but I think he said he was going to put a flat screen TV in here, too. Something like that. I believe that'd be on this wall, because I know he said for right now with the city ordinance, they don't want trailers parked out front. So, like, I got, he's one of my friends. That's half the reason I think we got this job. Yeah. But he, um, they can't keep trailers up front, so I think he wanted to park that near for right now until he, maybe he gets something, maybe put it behind it or get a mower in here. I don't know. Huh. That's up to him. This is a pretty neat little little shop. Yeah. 
We're already running up his electric bill, so he's probably not gonna like yeah, that. Yeah, better shut the garage doors. Well, we gotta finish it. We just gotta finish the driveway, knock the driveway out, and then we're gonna be done with this. But, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed another construction job at mowing and landscaping. And hey, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.